At this time, Soma was going to school with his friend Megumi. While walking, Soma was thinking about the ten masters, the group of people they had encountered yesterday. It was a group of ten talented chefs, and Soma's personality didn't allow him to be inferior to them. Soma boldly challenged anyone in the Elite Ten, but of course, they didn't pay any attention to him. If Soma wanted to join the group, he had to defeat one of them or change his name to the tenth seat. Soma was determined to prove himself in front of this arrogant group if he got the chance to join. Seeing Soma's determination, Megumi revealed that there would be a fall festival at the school called the Moon Banquet Festival. Soma would be allowed to open a food stall there to sell his dishes. This was the perfect opportunity for him to showcase his skills. Soma immediately started researching about the festival. While they were walking, they ran into their friend Irina, who seemed to be interested in participating in the fall festival as well. Soma told her about his plan to defeat Kuga's stall and challenge the ten masters. To Soma, it seemed natural because he had already defeated the stalls at the summer festival. But Irina just laughed at him, thinking he was just an inexperienced kid. During their class that day, Soma kept asking Megumi about Kuga's culinary style. Megumi didn't know much, so she introduced him to Miyoko, who was an expert in Chinese cuisine. Miyoko was confident that her knowledge of Chinese cuisine was greater than Kuga's, so she could help Soma with information. But when she asked how many members were in Soma's stall, he only had himself. Miyoko thought it was a foolish move to go up against Kuga with such a small team. All the members of Kuga's stall were well-trained chefs, and every action they took was precise. They had trained extensively under Kuga's guidance. Soma confidently expressed his intentions, but Kuga didn't fear a no-name kid like him. Kuga hadn't even decided on a dish to serve yet, but he might include the Sichuan-style maple tofu in the menu. Soma laughed and said that anyone could make that dish, as he had already mastered it. Kuga immediately called someone to prepare the maple tofu dish to impress Soma. After a while, ten plates of super spicy Sichuan-style maple tofu were served on the table. The timing was perfect, and Soma tasted one plate. The flavor was unlike any other maple tofu dish he had ever eaten. It was truly amazing, as good as the Chinese chef's dishes. All ten plates were delicious. Kuga said that this was still nothing. Based on his experience from the previous year's festival, if they couldn't serve 1,000 plates in a day, they wouldn't survive until the third day. Meanwhile, Soma could only serve 10 plates in a day by himself. Now, Soma was starting to feel the pressure. After witnessing some of Kuga's strength, Soma became a bit quieter, but he still boldly declared that he would defeat Kuga. Soma returned to the dormitory, still unsure of what dish he would make to defeat Kuga. Miyoko mentioned that another thing that made Kuga stand out was his reputation. A little research would reveal this. Although the fall festival hadn't started yet, Kuga had already started attracting customers. Kuga successfully attracted a certain number of customers for the first day. Soma felt hopeless and knew he had to take action immediately. Back at the dormitory, he wanted to get everyone's opinion. This eccentric senior wanted to participate as well and build a unique stall for the dormitory. But Soma wanted to have his own personal stall. Everyone could only advise and give suggestions to the young Soma, telling him to just have fun with cooking and not think about defeating Kuga. First, they discussed the location of the stall. There would be three main locations. The first one would be outside the gate, with small stalls selling common dishes. The central location would have stalls selling more elaborate and attractive dishes. Finally, the deepest position seems to be reserved for the upper class, I don't know which student has enough money to enter such a high-end place. Kuga's stall will be in the center position, of course, how can Mapo Tofu enter such a high-end place? But this position is very advantageous because most customers eat in this area, with Kuga's reputation, having a lot of customers is natural. As for someone like Soma, if he chooses the wrong position, he is likely to be eliminated from the first day. If he loses money, he will be expelled from school, this seems to be a difficult challenge. Soma was lost in thought and didn't notice Irina sitting next to him until she called out loudly. Seeing Irina, he immediately remembered something. Indeed, these two have a special connection, every time there is an event, they are always neighbors. This made Soma come up with a bold decision, today is the deadline to register the location of the food stall. At first, Soma thought about opening in the first position to attract all customers when they enter the school gate, but now things have changed. He decided to register opposite Kuga's stall because of Kuga's reputation, no one dares to open a stall nearby, they will definitely lose customers. But Soma doesn't know why he did that. He plans to take advantage of the huge number of customers to attract them to his stall, let's see what Soma can do. Information about Soma's stall quickly spread throughout the school. 
The magazine club put the information of Soma's stall right behind Kuga's, it's also a way to increase fame. Not only did Soma open a stall opposite Kuga's, but he also registered to serve Chinese cuisine just like him. I don't know what he is planning, but it definitely made Kuga angry, he will definitely give Soma a hard time and make him regret it. Although the stall has been confirmed, it was just a sudden idea of Soma, the truth is still vague, he doesn't know what to cook and especially he didn't recruit any more members. Maybe there will be Megumi to help with serving and washing dishes. After school, he went to find Irina, she is the one who made Soma make this decision, so he came to ask her to taste his food and give feedback. Although she is busy preparing for her own stall, Irina agreed. There are two more people, Alice, the white-haired girl, and Hisako, Irina's maid. I thought Soma would make something to compete with Kuga. But it turns out it's still Mapo Tofu. After tasting it, Irina immediately understood the problem, Soma's technique is good but not enough to defeat Kuga. He understands the taste of spiciness and can manipulate it perfectly, that's why he was admitted to the Elite 10. In Mapo Tofu, there are two types of spiciness, from chili and from pepper. Although they are very spicy and create an uncomfortable feeling, a chef can turn it into an excellent dish that makes people unable to stop eating despite the spiciness. Irina said that the spiciness is not felt from the taste but from some nerve endings, in general, it creates a stimulating and addictive feeling, only by doing that can Soma compete with Kuga. Well, I've revealed Kuga's secret, but that information has been helpful to Soma, whether he can defeat Kuga, the master of manipulating spiciness or not. Back at the dormitory, he talked to Megumi again and let her taste his food. As expected, she gave the same answer as Irina. However, it seems that Megumi is waiting for Soma to invite her to join him because many other stalls have invited her but she refused. Where can he find a girl like her, Soma decided to find a dish that can defeat Kuga together with her, he has tried many dishes with spiciness. Only when it's super spicy is it right, he has tried so many times that his lips are swollen like this, but the result still doesn't satisfy him. Although Megumi praised it, it still lacks something completely different from when he ate at Kuga's place. Megumi said that besides the inherent spiciness, Kuga's dishes also come with special ingredients that he personally concocted, and that's what makes Kuga's brand, a secret recipe that no one can know. Soma doesn't need to know about it, he will create his own secret recipe. After school, he will prepare for the festival, all the students in the school are enjoying their youth. What about Soma? He doesn't worry about his stall and just relaxes. He went to visit the dormitory stall, if he doesn't let them join, they will open their own stall, there's nothing to worry about. After visiting for a while, Soma returned to his stall location, but this opponent is really worth worrying about. I don't know how big Kuga's stall will be. But it is true that this part is also very important, the bigger the restaurant, the more customers like to come in, this is also one of the experiences that Soma learned from his father. It seems quite worrying. Soma thought for a while, he remembered that his father used something very special to increase the sales of his restaurant, he asked Megumi to find that thing with him. It seems that when he sees it, Soma also decides what dish to make to defeat Koga. A few days later, it was the opening day of the Autumn Festival, after the principal announced the start of the Tatsuki Autumn Food Festival, the crowd began to enter to experience the unique dishes. Koga's stall looks no different from a large restaurant. Opposite it is a roadside food stall that is not worth paying attention to. Can Soma do anything to defeat Koga with his food cart and black pepper buns? The taste of the bun is really excellent, no need for complicated secret recipes because Soma has made use of the spiciness of the pepper and the sweetness of the meat. Even Koga has to admit that this dish can really compete with him. However, that's only if someone comes here to eat, most people come here to visit Koga's stall. Why? Just by looking at it, you can understand. The other stalls have also prepared themselves to serve customers. The first day is very important because it is probably the day with the most customers. Koga's Chinese restaurant is indeed true to the rumors. The dishes are made continuously and professionally. Although everyone feels it's too spicy, they can't stop eating. The ability to control this spiciness is really terrifying. As for Soma's stall, no matter how loud he shouts, he can't attract any customers to his stall. Moreover, the menu only has one dish and you have to stand and eat. The first day quickly passed, there were some customers but in the end, it still resulted in a loss. Compared to Kuga, the difference in skills is too great. This place is enough to build a few more stalls. At the end of the day, the list of top performing stalls and the stalls that suffered losses was announced. Let's ignore the top ones, what matters is that Soma's stall is in the top 3 among the stalls that suffered losses. And what's even more surprising is that the other two stalls have talented people who passed the entrance exam. It's really surreal, but they seem not to worry at all. Being optimistic like this is good, but when it comes to being expelled, who can save them?
I wonder where our main character has gone, maybe he's too busy with too many ingredients so he cooks for everyone's dinner, or maybe he has another purpose. Let everyone eat, feel, and give feedback. Indeed, Soma's black pepper bun is delicious, but there is still something lacking to attract customers. That is imagination. People can only feel it after eating this bun, but before that, when they look at it, they don't feel anything. That made Soma come up with a new idea, he thanked everyone for their suggestions. He knew what he needed to do tomorrow. That evening, while walking along the corridor, Megumi noticed Soma talking to someone in the dark, which seemed very suspicious, but he only said that it was to prepare for tomorrow. Then the two continued to discuss the plan for the next day. On the second day of the autumn festival, the number of customers not only decreased but also increased significantly compared to the previous day. All the stalls had increased their revenue, even the poorly performing ones. Perhaps the customers from yesterday introduced their friends, that's why. This further developed Kuga's Chinese restaurant. It can be said that the business doubled compared to yesterday. Meanwhile, Soma's stall continued to invite customers, but unlike yesterday, his menu now had an additional noodle dish. At the end of the second day, Kuga's revenue had skyrocketed, surpassing the other competitors. It's natural for Kuga to be complacent, but it seems that Soma has also done better, jumping to 35th place. When he tried to look at Soma's stall, he couldn't find it. At this time, Soma was pulling his cart around to serve customers. At this late hour, he offered free samples to customers, this is also a trick he learned from other stores. Indeed, it is really useful even though it does not bring in revenue. But it is better to give it away than to spoil it by tomorrow. The good thing is that no one complains about any dish, on the contrary, they feel that this is the perfect taste to end a day of culinary experience. When some customers feel full and can't eat the bun, Soma immediately cooks noodles on the spot. The dish is easy to swallow and has broth, even though they are already full, they still feel like they can eat a few more bowls of noodles. This is the dish that helps improve the revenue of the food cart compared to yesterday. Soon after, people flocked to the stall to get free food, but no one felt like it was free. They can totally pay double tomorrow. Soma also understood to some extent the emotions of his father back then. It is also the black donut dish that initially attracted customers out of curiosity, but later many people came to eat it because of its taste. Although he had the noodle dish to help customers imagine the taste and come to eat, it was not a dish that could defeat Kuga. He needed to find another dish for tomorrow. Suddenly, he remembered his father's Sichuan tofu dish, although it was not spicy, it was made from ingredients that were easy to eat, so he thought that his father's dish was not inferior to Kuga's super spicy dish. Who knows, it might create a miracle. So Soma decided to add the Sichuan tofu dish to the menu, but it would be made according to Soma's own recipe, not like any other dish in the world. On the third day of the autumn festival today, it was not much better than yesterday, as Soma's Sichuan tofu dish had not yet been added to the menu. Meanwhile, the number of customers coming to Kuga's restaurant did not decrease at all. He even regularly came to taunt Soma, and went too far by telling him to close the shop. But Soma would never give up, even though it looked a bit hopeless. The reason he didn't want to give up was because he knew that Kuga's restaurant was not like any other restaurant. If he could do that, he would definitely surpass Kuga's restaurant. The third day quickly came to an end. That evening, Tomita called Soma and said that everything was ready, I still didn't know what it was. There would be a surprise tomorrow. He said that he needed to add a few more things around the shop because just looking at the food cart, people would have to hold a bowl of hot noodles and stand to eat, who would want to come? Megumi said to leave that to her, Soma just needed to focus on cooking. Where could he find such a solid support like this, my friends? The next morning, Tomita brought some tables and chairs for customers to sit, I don't know if doing this would make customers come here or not, but it's better than nothing. To thank Soma for letting him try the new dish for free, at this time Kuga also came to taunt a few words to see how it goes. Soma declared that he would win because even though Kuga had more fame and a better restaurant. With 10 years of customer service experience, he couldn't be defeated. Soma would use his culinary skills to win with this new dish. He made the Sichuan tofu dish right in front of Kuga to compete, the only difference was that it was combined with other dishes, a combination of noodles and a meatball on top, I wonder if there will be any other differences. But at Kuga's side, they were still confident that no one would come to try that strange dish. Tomita tried the first bite, the taste was spot on, he had eaten Soma's dish many times before, it had been a long time since he felt this way but that was still not enough. Soma told him to split the meatball in half, there was something flowing inside. It looked like a yolk but it wasn't, it was curry. The curry sauce flowed out and mixed with the noodle soup, I don't know how the real smell of it is but overall it is very fragrant and quickly spreads around, attracting the attention of the tired customers waiting. 
Most of them came here because of the reputation of this restaurant and Kuga's weakness is that he can't serve all these customers, not only making them wait until they are hungry but also chasing them away as soon as they finish eating or limiting the eating time to 20 minutes. Soma took advantage of that to attract Kuga's existing customers. Kuga was furious but couldn't do anything. When the number of customers increased, a mysterious factor appeared, it was the person that Soma asked for help the day before, he was Subaru, the runner-up in the selection exam with extremely high copying skills. So after a night of practice, he could perfectly imitate Soma's new curry dish. Will there be another person who can create miracles? But it's really strange, Subaru can keep up with Soma's speed completely, as if Soma had just split himself. In addition to delicious dishes, there is another factor which is customer service. Megumi did a great job in that aspect, it's really amazing that she can satisfy all the customers here. She put herself in the customer's shoes and quickly did what they wanted. By evening, this is also the time when Soma releases another card to attract customers. Megumi asked the president of the Lantern Club to come and decorate the shop, making the atmosphere here no different from a Chinese festival. It seems meaningless at first glance, but it makes people want to eat something that matches this atmosphere. By night, the number of customers increased even more, with two people it was not enough to cook, with one person it was not enough to serve, indeed Soma's shop has reached its limit. Soma was about to leave the kitchen to help Megumi, she looked so worried, but if he left, he would never be able to defeat Kuga, that's why Mito appeared and helped. Her shop is ranked second and she has handed over the work to her subordinates, now she will help Soma with the black donut dish because she also contributed to creating that dish. After that, others also came to help, they had finished their work at their own shops and came to help Soma. Takumi is not an ordinary person when it comes to taking a position in the kitchen, keeping up with the speed of Soma and Subaru as soon as he enters. He is always obsessed with being Soma's rival and doesn't care about the 10 masterpieces. In this way, Soma's restaurant has quickly caught up with Kuga's restaurant, which started as a food truck and now has wings. There is only one hour left until the end of Wednesday, and they are putting all their efforts into the final moments. This is the true power of Soma. Not only does he have cooking skills, but he also has extremely talented teammates who have achieved miracles together. The summary of Wednesday's restaurant ranking shows that Kuga's restaurant is in second place, and Soma's restaurant is in first place. It seems that Kuga also has his own purpose for this festival, but now it has been ruined by Soma. Not only that, he is also laughed at by his seniors. If he keeps clinging to his restaurant, he will lose. Kuga reluctantly accepts and says he will accept Soma's challenge. But he says the festival is not over yet, and he wants to win the total revenue of the five festival days. And then the last day quickly arrives. To be more precise, nothing has changed. Kuga's restaurant is still steadily gaining customers, while Soma's restaurant has grown stronger but lacks manpower to serve. In the end, it is only slightly better than Kuga, but overall, it still hasn't surpassed him. Kuga himself acknowledges Soma's ability because he sees an image of himself from a year ago. When sitting next to the 10 masterpieces, he boldly announces a challenge to anyone in that group. At that time, Aishi happily accepted and taught him a memorable lesson. Now that person has become the leader of the 10 masterpieces. Kuga wants to challenge him again when he achieves a perfect victory in this festival, but that plan has been ruined by Soma. This match can be considered a draw because no one has achieved their goal. The end of Thursday of the festival is only the end of the main gate and the central area. Rindo invited Soma and Megumi to the upper class area to enjoy. It is a wonderful experience to end this festival. It sounds interesting, and Soma also wants to see how the gathering place of the 10 masterpieces will be because they mainly serve high-end customers. The service here is also very different from other areas. They not only cook but also have countless other arts. Rindo takes the two to Aishi's restaurant, the number one seat, who gave Kuga a valuable lesson. He personally stands alone in all the processes and serves only three tables with nine dishes according to a theme, one theme per day, and today is the Symphony of Autumn. Sounds grand, right? Aishi cooks as if he is playing his own music. Finally, the first dish is served, unexpectedly red shrimp, an ingredient usually seen in spring, is made in this theme. I don't quite understand, but let's just eat it. Holy shit! How can it be so delicious? Looking at Soma and Megumi's expressions, it's enough to see that this dish is amazing. But Aishi has truly captured the essence of autumn in this dish. Next are other dishes, not eaten randomly, but all arranged by Aishi in a sequence like a piece of music, taking the taste buds of the customers from one note to another. This is the master who manipulates the taste buds, not like Kuga who only manipulates the spiciness. Soma realizes for the first time that he is completely inferior to this level. Maybe he has to spend another 10 years in the kitchen to catch up with Aishi. 
But on the contrary to the food he makes, Aishi's personality is somewhat unusual. He is a bit perfectionist and doesn't dare to let others cook with him. In a certain aspect, Aishi is a bit insecure when serving customers. Always striving for perfection but still showing concern to the point that others feel uncomfortable. Despite that, anyone who has eaten Aishi's food must admire him. He is just a student, but he is already considered a professional chef. Soma realizes that although Aishi worries about many things, he doesn't worry about whether the food suits the customer's tastes or not. That is his absolute confidence, the greatest strength. At this time, Irina's restaurant is usually the busiest. Irina has always been waiting for someone to come to her restaurant for the past five days, the first person who taught her how to cook. The door opens, thinking that what she has been waiting for will become a reality, but it is completely the opposite. The most terrifying thing she didn't expect has happened. It is Azami, Irina's father. Meanwhile, Irina seems to be trembling with fear. He says that his daughter should not serve such low-class customers, and the Tatsuki environment has deteriorated too much. Everyone here is angry when they hear him say that. He used to be a member of the school council, but probably due to his eccentric views, he was expelled from here. This time, his appearance is unknown what his intentions are. Without saying much, he sits down at the table that Irina prepared for her teacher, saying that he wants to see how far his daughter's cooking skills have come. Irina stands frozen, not knowing what to do. Just then, Soma enters. He still wants to explore this high-class area a bit before going home. Thanks to him, the tense atmosphere is broken. Suddenly, someone foolishly walks in and Azami loses interest, so he leaves, not forgetting to tell his daughter to choose her friends wisely. Outside, there are already several cars waiting for him, but not to welcome him, but to drive him away. As soon as he hears the news, Irina's grandfather immediately comes to chase Azami away. Unexpectedly, he stubbornly refuses to leave and even declares that he will rebuild this school. It should be a top culinary school reaching the pinnacle of taste, not a place of mediocrity like it is now. He then presents a decision that he has been approved as the new principal of Tatsuki Academy, with 6 out of 10 members of the Elite 10 agreeing to this. Surprisingly, among them are Rindo and Aishi. Soma still doesn't understand what is happening here. The news quickly spreads outside, including former classmates with Azami, all members of the Elite 10. Both Jin and Joichiro, who are Soma's father, do not know when the vote took place. Only the Elite 10 and Azami know, the rest, including the former principal, are clueless. He only know that he has been ousted from the principal's seat. Then comes the new principal's first speech, continuously mocking the former principal and others. But he always presents himself as a cultured and educated person, who will elevate the Tatsuki environment to its rightful place. Still that arrogant and self-satisfied attitude. Unlike last night, where those who didn't know him thought he was a good person. That night at Irina's mansion, he called Hisako into his daughter's room and told her that she no longer needed to serve the young lady. His purpose is to isolate his daughter just like 10 years ago. He taught Irina cooking to the point where she was obsessed with it until now, and now he plans to continue the trick to turn Irina into his right-hand person. Soma doesn't understand what is happening, he just wonders where the former principal is, and unexpectedly, he is in his room. It must be something important for him to come here. It seems that he is very close to Soma's father, possibly his former teacher. He is also the one who suggested Joichiro send his son to the school, that is Soma. After that, the two went to the park to talk. This old man is very roundabout, but Soma is not, he wants to get straight to the point. He talks about Irina in the past and Azami's cruel education methods. After Alice, Irina's only childhood friend, went abroad, he started turning his daughter into a machine. Forcing Irina to pour out all the failed dishes and calling them garbage, gradually Irina lost her true emotions and became a completely different person. When her grandfather realized this, it was too late, he could only expel Azami from Tatsuki and remove his name from the family. After that, he went abroad for what, no one knows, but now he has returned and joined forces with the Elite 10 to overthrow the current regime. Irina has only just recovered a little. Azami will brainwash her again like before, just wait and see. Now that this old man has no power in his hands, he can only complain. He asks Soma to save Irina, not let her recent smile disappear. At this moment, there is no one by Irina's side, even in her dreams, she sees the scene of her father truly brainwashing her, looking very miserable. She is being isolated in the room when suddenly there is a knock on the door, it's Alice and her gang. After learning the situation, they invite her to escape from this place. But after running for a while, they don't know where to go anymore. After all, they live in the same house, so they can't go anywhere. Azami will soon find out and send someone to find her. Irina is always haunted by Azami, so she doesn't dare to resist, 
she will go back and not involve anyone anymore. But no one wants Irina to go through that horror again. Just then, a heavy rainstorm comes. Megumi appears out of nowhere and invites everyone to take shelter. It's none other than they are standing in front of the Polar Star dormitory. Soma arrives home and sees this scene, he also understands everything now. Both of them still don't know their connection. That's why the former principal came to Soma for help. Everyone in the dormitory still doesn't understand anything, initially a little scared because a young lady with golden wings came to stay in such a desolate place, she might even be suspected of being kidnapped. But after hearing Hisako recount Irina's past, everyone sympathized and would protect her to the end. But also thanks to Azumi, he turned Irina into a machine with a divine palette, a nickname given to Irina by everyone. Because she can analyze any dish she tastes, praising few and criticizing many. Normally she is shy and smiles little, but when it comes to food, she is no different from a proud princess. But overall, everyone is happy with Irina's attitude. More accurately, everyone is helping her integrate more into the community, she has been isolated for too long. Soma also has to show off his skills, so far Irina has not praised any dish he cooked, so he has determined to make Irina praise his cooking is delicious. Thank you for watching the entire video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, share, and also hit the notification bell to receive updates when the channel releases new videos. Thank you.